So, so far every week, we've been focusing on a different multiplication table. We've done the twos tables, we've done the fives, did the tens last week. This week is another week where they don't have a number song for it because it's got a pattern that we could recognize and we could figure out pretty quickly. And if we remember the pattern, we don't need a number song to help us remember. Okay. And the one we're going to work on this week is going to be the 11s. So I'm going to write up the numbers first, and then we're going to see if we can find that pattern. Right? The first number is 11. And the next number is 22. Next number is 33. The next number is 44. After that, it's 55. And 66, 77, 88, and 99, and 110. And 121, and 132. Now this one's a little bit different from the other multiplication tables that we've focused on the past couple weeks because the pattern is there for most of it. And at the end, it gets a little more tricky. But who can tell me what do you think the pattern is? What pattern do we see in this multiplication table? What do we see happening with our number over and over? What do we notice about these numbers in our list? And again, the end is, is a little bit different, but especially at the beginning of my list. 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 9, 10, 21, 132. Heidi, what pattern do you see? It goes by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then it goes all the way to 0. Okay. It's almost like you're counting normally, right? 1, yeah. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But what makes it different than just counting? The, all the way to 9, it goes, it has two like of the same numbers. You're right. It kind of repeats the number, right? It starts off yeah. with 11. 1 and 1. 1, 3, 2. 2 and 2, then 33, 3 and 3, 44, 4 and 4. Yep. And you're right. I love that you noticed that. It works all the way up till 9 is how far our pattern goes. So from 1 to 9, it works just like counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The only thing that makes it different is they use two of the same number. So instead of 1... It's 11. Instead of 2, 22. Instead of 3, 33. Instead of 4, 44. Instead of 5, 55. Instead of 6, 66. Instead of 7, 77. Instead of 8, 88. Instead of 9, 99. Once you get to 10, the last three are the only ones that it helps to remember what order they come in. So 11 times 10 is just an 11, the zero at the end. So instead of 11, you put a zero at the end of it and you get 110. And you have 121. So this one, it's almost like they're all the same numbers, but one, the one in the middle, is a little bit more. So not 111, 121. And the same thing with the next number. They're not all the same, but the, one, the number in the middle is the highest one, 132. Okay, just like usual, I'm gonna say some of the numbers in our 
pattern here. I'm going to stop at certain points. I'm going to ask somebody to say the next number. 11, 22. What number comes next? Jaylene. Thirty-three. Okay. Oh, sorry. Eleven, twenty-two, thirty-three, forty-four, fifty-five. What number is next? Chase. What number is next? Sixty-six. Awesome. So eleven, twenty-two, thirty-three, forty-four, fifty-five, sixty-six. 77, 88, what number is next? Haley. 99. Um, 99, perfect. 11, 22, 33, 44, <clears throat> 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, 110. What number is next? Alexa. 121. 121. And who can tell me the last number? Aideen, last number? 132. 132. All right. Like I said, we're going to practice more with the 11s throughout the week. But remember, especially those first nine. The pattern is super, super simple. The last three are the only ones that are kind of tricky and the only ones that you kind of have to work on remembering. The other ones, super simple, just like counting just with two of the same numbers.